Welcome to The Author's Journey with number one international best-selling author and in-demand publisher, Rebecca Hall Greider. Today, we'll showcase the works of an amazing best-selling author, find out the story behind their book, and explore ways to bring your message powerfully forward. Now, here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you are having an amazing day. Honored to be connecting in with you. And we are on the author's journey where we meet with best selling authors and experts in the field to really help you learn what does it take to bring a book forward and bring it forward as a bestseller. What is it like? What is the journey truly like if we pull back the curtains? So we have candid conversations with amazing best selling authors as well as very powerful experts in the the field because we want to keep you in the loop of what's going on in the world of publishing so that you can continue to bring your messages forward. Welcome. Thrilled and excited to have you joining us. And today we have another amazing bestselling author joining us, Donnie Ingram. And he has recently brought a book forward called Real Freedom. And he is a author of multiple books. And this last book, Real Freedom, he released on July 1st. And that was very deliberate. And we're going to talk about that a little bit about why he did that, what that was like, who he had involved in the project, and what that turned out to what the experience ended up being like. So we're going to have a great, great conversation. And I love this title, Real Freedom. It's July. And um, in the US, we look a lot at our independence and freedom and really pause and take a moment to reflect on that and really see what does freedom mean to us? Are we building more of that into our life and how we're choosing to show up and how we're choosing to be? Are we really living in um, a way that's honoring that, that's expanding our freedom, expanding how we're showing up in the world? And what does that mean to each of us? Because we may have different uh, definitions of what freedom means. So I'd love to take a moment as we're connecting in, taking a breath, slowing down for a little bit grabbing a piece of paper so you breathe out and a writing utensil whatever what you you like to use to write with then pencil marker crayon whatever it may be um, that you're able to really take down notes as they come forward or ideas or things that pop into your head because this is time for you and we're here to pour into you so i encourage you to choose to be very present in that taking a breath Breathing in, breathing out, slowing down a little bit allows you to become present, to release what no longer serves, to bring in what truly does, and to be open, ears and heart open to receive everything that will serve you today. So let's take a moment and just feel into what does real freedom mean to you? As a reader, as an author, as a, a human being, what, what does that mean to you and how are you bringing that forward in your life? How does it align with that and what freedom means to you and what true or real freedom means? Just take a moment, reflect on that. Great. And as you're digging into what freedom and real freedom means to you, I want to take an an opportunity here to introduce our amazing guest. And this is just going to give you a taste of him. So Donnie Ingram is a speaker, an international bestselling author, a life performance coach and founder of Ingram Management Group. He has an MBA and for the last 30 years has worked in sales and marketing as well as training development for government in corporate America. He has served in the U.S. Air Force for, let's see, I think for 21 years, if my notes are correct there. Is that correct, in, yep, Donnie? That's correct. Yep, 20, 21 yep, years. That's, that's correct. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Absolutely. And you and your wife, Charlotte, over had over 46 years together and raised three successful sons. And together, you created a success in the home and um, 
marriage series and relationships. It was a special training series that you brought forward. And your goal was to help people really recognize their full potential and live life to their fullest. Charlotte passed away and went to be with the Lord in January of 2021. And you leaned in and brought the book forward titled Real Freedom on July 1st. 2020. So I'm just honored and excited to lean into our conversation of helping people step into their full potential, really looking at this powerful book you just recently released and what the journey has been like. And I just celebrate your commitment to leaning into helping so many people step into real and true freedom. Welcome to the show, the amazing Donnie Ingram. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I am honored to be here today. Thank you so much, Rebecca. It is yeah. uh, it is truly an honor to be on the show today. You are so to welcome. To share a little bit uh, with, with your group. We're honored to have you here and looking forward to the conversation and and trusting it will go where it serves at the highest level. And so I'm just thrilled to have you uh, leaning into that. And I wanted to to start with the book Real Freedom that you released and just really uh, asking a, a fairly candid question about this. So um, I know that that Charlotte passed away in January. Mm-hmm. And you leaned in with your family. So it was a combined effort to bring the book forward mm-hmm. on July 1st. And I know there was timing. There was a lot of prayer and reflection that went into that. Do you mind sharing a little bit of the thought process and why you felt led to um, bring this book forward so um, shortly after after her passing? Because it takes months to bring a book forward. Yes, it, it was an, an ordeal after my wife passed away. Uh, I've been, you know, struggling with this book for uh, two or three years and didn't really know how to bring it about uh, because I had a passion because, you know, as being a personal trainer and a performance coach, I, I see so many people that are living beneath what they should be and uh, just most of them are not using what they've been gifted with. And, uh, you know, after we, uh, you know, I settled all my wife's affairs and everything, and my wife, my son and I were sitting in the living room, and we were discussing, uh, you know, things. And I mentioned the book, you know, I've got to bring this book forward. I feel now, you know, greater uh, necessity to do that than ever before. Uh, Donnie, as you're sharing that, and, and there's this urgency that now um, – to bring the book forward now you're that you're feeling this urgency bigger than before to really um, move that book forward. I'd love for you to share what, as you felt into that, what that meant, what that looked like, um, how, how did it evolve to come forward in the way that it did? Well, we, we felt such a passion, and, and when I when I emailed all the boys and their wives, they jumped on board immediately because they had the same, every one of them said they had the same passion that I did, that uh, this needs to go out. We need to get the word out. And, uh, you know, they they con- cl- uh, collaborated with me on, uh, let's take a principle out of God's word, and let's explain that principle, talk about it, and then let, let's show Charlotte's life, you know, uh, show her life as to how that principle should be lived out daily. So that's uh, that's Beautiful. kind of what we did, and I, I we love, had such a passion for it. Uh, absolutely, and I, I felt that every step of the way in bringing it forward. And what I loved is with this urgency that you had to now is the time to bring it forward, and you honored that, and you felt into what that meant, and feeling in that it was meant to be a book brought forward by multiple people in the, in the family, not just one person, and that everyone in the family had that laid on their heart as well. And I just think that's something that's really powerful about your book, and I love that you leaned in to honor that. And I was just thinking for our listeners who maybe are feeling this urgency, like now is the time to bring something forward, that this is such a a model of honoring that and finding out what that means and getting support along the way. And so I think it's a great principle that, uh, speaking of principles, that we we really look at when we have that now, that pull on our heart, um, that we feel it, and then we feel into how and 
and we're open to creative ways that it can come together so that the book, the message can be brought forward. And I would love to circle back and say now, um, as you're as you're looking back on the journey and how it evolved, because we're starting at you're leaning in to bring it forward. Can you describe what the full title and and became? and what your family hope people get out of the book. Well, we, we, you know, we settled on real freedom. Uh, we, we took Galatians 5, well, chapter 5, verse 1 to heart, because it says mm-hmm. it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. He said, stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. So many people are really, they don't claim to be in slavery, but they are. And we wanted to, to show people in this book how we live, because we, as a family, have lived these principles ever since, uh, you know, Charlotte and I got married. We learned these, you know, these principles by, by reading and studying and praying. And, you know, when God began to, to reveal them to us, uh, you know, we just began to use them, live those things out, talk about those things, meditate on those things. And so we, we taught them to our sons. Uh, in turn, they have lived out. They've got, you know, uh, three great sons, uh, three great careers, and, and they, they're touching just like Charlotte. They're touching thousands of lives, you know, mm-hmm. through uh, their ministry, through their careers. So mm-hmm. it, it, it evolved, and it, it's really taken off. Uh, mm. Compared to, I mean, we had no no idea that you know so many people were going to be touched by you know by this book, by what we had written in this book. And most mm. people are touched because of Charlotte and how she touched the lives of other people, and how mm. how she gave uh, these principles to her son by living them out every day. Mm. So powerful. So powerful. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. We are getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And as we do that, listeners, I encourage you to stay present. Uh, really write thoughts and ideas and things that are coming to your heart and your spirit as you're taking a moment to pause and really sink into all that Donnie is sharing. And we will look forward to continuing our conversation in just a moment. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. Explore the poetry of Sam Yao. His book of poems, Soul's Journey, is a number one international bestseller. Sam is a contemporary poet with a unique and highly relatable poetic style to convey the essence of spiritual truths for our time. Readers will find beauty, inspiration, and healing in his words. Get his book, Soul's Journey, today on Amazon.com or visit SamYaoPoetry.com. That's SamYaoPoetry.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed that moment to be still and gather your thoughts and and really sink into the information being shared. I always find in those pauses, there can be such great insight. I think we're so busy sometimes that all the noise, all the distraction pulls at us and we don't even get to hear our own thoughts, much less have room to take in those insights or ideas as they come. So I encourage you as we pour into you today and share that you take those moments, have those pauses before, during, and after to really capture, just take a couple moments and capture your thoughts, capture some of those next steps to help you bring forward all that you are called to bring forward. And 
I was reflecting back on one of the comments you you shared in the opening segment, Donnie. You shared about how you see, you and Charlotte would see so many people in life not living up to their full potential, not using all the gifts and talents they've been given, and that 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 really um, pulled at your hearts and and to help yeah. them step into that, to help them um, live in their, their full potential, to live in real freedom, to really tap into that. And one of the things I observed as you and your family of all different skills and talents and personalities leaned in to bring the book forward, I loved how some of those different pieces were being tapped into. So I'd love for you to share a little bit of you know, the journey, because it's one thing I find we have this this brilliant idea, this leading of we'll come together in community or as a family mm-hmm. and bring something forward in collaboration. But the journey is not always linear <laughs> to get from point yeah, A to, to bringing it <laughs> forward, especially during a tender time like this. You know, so recently, shortly after Charlotte's passing um, and, and so intimately um, sharing about her, um, would you mind sharing a little bit of what that experience was like all the way to um, the beautiful launch experience um, that your family created? Okay. Well, it, it was, uh, you know, it was an experience for us. We'd never collaborated on anything, you know, as a whole family like that before. But, uh, and, and being spread out, uh, of course, technology today allows us, you know, real ease to do this. But each one of the kids picked a principle and, uh, that they wanted to write on that, uh, that really resonated with them and what they had learned. And so, you know, that's uh, that's where we actually started from. And, of course, wor- working together, uh, you know, with drafts and uh, had, uh, you know, great friends at the university who were actually our editors, you know, with, with recommendations. Uh, but the kids just really, I, I was I was blown away, Rebecca, for, for how mm. great the, they, they were, the writing that they did. Uh, you know, it, it just, it, it made me proud uh, but mm-hmm. it really really resonated with me when I when I really you know, when we really saw what was coming together in uh, in everyone I was shocked that some of them used the same principles and they, they were writing independently mm-hmm. uh, you know, the, or the same same uh, uh, same scriptures in order to bring out uh, you know the the principle so it, mm-hmm. it really began an effort and uh, the prayer times that we put in on it uh, you know we collaborated several times on, on by phone by uh, Zoom calls to talk about what we were looking for, the the, uh, the book cover, uh, the, the entire project were, really taught us about working together. Uh, mm. I, everybody I've talked to, very few, you know, have ever collaborated with a, a family like that mm-hmm. uh, to, mm-hmm. to bring something out like this. And we're, we're just excited. You know, we, we set out to do a launch date on, uh, on July the 1st. It never hit me until, uh, you know, we'd actually in, involved in setting that up that uh, we we're talking about freedom and the month of freedom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it, I think that, that helped uh, when we did our launch. Uh, we all came together uh, for a launch party. Now, my oldest son and his family is in New York. My middle son's in West Virginia, and my, my, or my youngest son's in West Virginia. Middle one's here with me. So, but we all converged in West Virginia to bring this thing to, to reality. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had been contacting people uh, around the country. Uh, you know, people were, were expecting it. Uh, to, to roll out, and when it did, uh, you know they they took advantage of it, and that mm. that's what excited us. The uh, the time together, uh, we'll, we'll never forget uh, of launching yeah. the book together. And I you know I, I just can't tell I, I can't express the the joy enough to people when because a lot of folks have a passion. I mean we all have gifts, talents, skills, and abilities, and we need to bring those out. We have to hone those. And, uh, you know, for anybody, and most everybody has got a story to tell, but there's some people who just have passion about that story, and they have a book in them, and they, it, it needs to come out. Yes, yes. Because we oh. want to change people's lives. If you want to make a difference, and that's what we, we were hoping to do, is make a difference. Mm. 
Thank you for sharing. And I think it is so powerful and so special that you as a family came together and got to work as a team to bring this forward and support each other, cheer each other on and um, and the response that has come. And you're right. I don't hear about very many families <laughs> coming together and um, collaborating in this way. And I think it's so powerful and was definitely led to to be brought forward in the way that it did. And so I'm excited about that. And, and I agree that a lot of us have a pull and a call in our heart. And it's important that we honor that if we're being given that um, calling to bring a book forward, to bring a message forward, that we need to take the steps to to bring it forward and, and make that happen. And I'm glad it was such a powerful, um, wonderful experience for all of you. I'm curious, is there a moment where there there was a surprise or a moment of, um, are, are we really doing this? Did you guys have any of that? Or from the very beginning, it was clear and it just moved forward? I think we all probably had some surprises there. I I had a surprise when they would send their uh, their drafts in for me to review them, and uh, I was shocked at some of the small things that they were bringing out to be such big things in their life. Mm. Uh, you know, things like simple communication, listening to to how you know Charlotte and I communicated in our marriage. Uh, you know how it affected the kids and and how it affected their marriage. And what mm. they were were hoping to do, and how that principle worked for them, I think that was one of my biggest uh, biggest surprises. But I think we mm. were all surprised that it worked so well together because, as, as you said, they inspired each other. You know, they they mm-hmm. talked to each other about well, you know what uh, what what Charlotte's life had meant to them because that's what we wanted to do was honor her with mm-hmm. this book. And mm-hmm. uh, you know, it it was a it was a shocker for for several things for me because I the little things that they brought out to be big things in their life, things that I would have never thought about, would have affected them that way. Mm. How powerful for all of you to yeah, to see that, yeah, and experience that beautiful, beautiful, and. As the book rolled out and people heard and were getting excited about it coming and marking the date on their calendar and getting ready, were there any surprises along that way? Because I think sometimes authors, we think about the day of release and when the book's finally in people's hands, but there's this whole conversation that happens before that as you let people know it's coming, you're working on the final stages, you're kind of building that momentum where there's surprises or special moments in that part of the journey? They were. They were. We, you know, people uh, kept emailing us, uh, when's it going to be there? You know, and I, I put it out. We put it out continuously, and but they all wanted to know. And I even had people, can I get an advanced copy? <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, we had people excited about the book. And, of course, mm-hmm. when it did roll out, uh, we had multiple people that bought multiple copies to send to other people. Mm. So you know, I mean, mm-hmm. it was a, it was a, a a real pleasure in rolling this type book out of what it uh, what it was doing because uh, the, the the kids got so excited about it that uh, mm-hmm. you know their friends and all their acquaintances and and you got to understand you know we with three sons uh, and and with our careers that we you know Charlotte and I have had they had a lot of contacts around the country around the world mm-hmm. actually. Yep. So, you know, they began to, to talk about the, bringing this book about and what it was going to do and what their plan was, you know, what their hopes and prayers was for it to do. And people got excited about it. And I think mm. that's what it, that's what helped make it a bestseller so fast. Yeah. Yeah, because it did. It became an international bestseller very, very quickly. I think it was in under 14 hours or right around then yeah. Um, yeah. That, it, yeah. that it did. And it hit 13 bestselling categories and number one in the U.S. and a bestselling status in the U.S. and Canada. So it was very well received powerfully in, in a very short, less than 24 hours, <laughs> a short amount of time. Yeah. It was um, powerfully received. And I'd love for you to share what was that that like was that a surprise was that exciting did it blur together what, what was that like the to see as the oh yeah we were you know in? we were all we were all together at the party at the launch party when you were mm-hmm. calling us and, and giving us the updates and everybody was, mm-hmm. I mean, we had about 30 people there all together and people were, were you know every time i you know everybody was in every time my phone rang everybody got quiet <laughs> 
<laughs> and everybody was excited when you know we made bestseller status and we was in thirteen categories. I mean, it started out I think seven categories, nine categories, thirteen categories, and every time you know that we announced that, people just got you know overwhelmed and excited. And, uh, and of course, you I think uh, you probably heard one. You know, we were yelling when we made uh, I heard uh, one international of them, yeah. bestseller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, uh, it it really shocked us. We, you know, we were excited about it, but nothing compared to what we really received. I mean, we we had no idea mm. that it was going to be that uh, that favored. Mm. So powerful. And, and the oh. kids are the kids are still r- uh, ruling over it. I, I got a call from uh, just a couple of days ago from the uh, the the. the Dean of the business school at uh, Athens University, and he when he saw it because he was on our email list, you know, he started shouting. <laughs> that, that and his wife ran in there, thought something was wrong with him. <laughs> he said, "What book are you talking about?" <laughs> so oh, we, you I know, love it, it. We had a lot of folks that got excited with us, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Well, thank you for sharing. Congratulations again on, on your powerful success. And I hope that it just continues as the print book comes forward and, and the different formats yes. you're bringing forward to just continue to, to touch people's lives. And one thing I always like to ask authors about is the cover design, because there's a lot of thought and reflection that goes into a cover that most people never know about <laughs> because they see That's true. That's true. Form. So, do you mind sharing a little bit about the cover and why it's designed? And describe it for those cause that haven't seen it yet. Describe what it looks like and why um, you guys designed it that way. Well, we my my middle son is actually the brainchild behind this. Uh, you know, we we looked at several things. I sent him several samples, and but he came up with this with the cross on a rock uh, with the sun ble- beaming from the background. You can barely see it under the cross with uh, the the skies in red with it, you know real freedom up top, and then of course the subtitles right underneath the underneath the cross it says kingdom principles that lead to a life of joy fulfillment eternal success and a legacy of love mm-hmm. and of course our names at the bottom the ingrams but you know we've had so many comments on that cover because i think it was god inspired you mm-hmm. know for for him to do that uh, that cover like he did mm-hmm. and uh, the back cover is, is just as beautiful it shows my beautiful wife uh, sitting on a rock and uh, you know with one of the comments that, that came from one of the people I, uh, friends of uh, of hers, mm. so it you know the, the cover cover design, and then that's always a, a biggie. I yeah. uh, this is the first cover actually we designed in house here. I, my other five books, I had a, a, a graphic artist that designed the covers for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But this one, this one was uh, totally inspired by God. But I think a cover is what grabs people. You, you know, yeah. it's got to in, incite them. And uh, you know, it's got to tell them, you know, what 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 am I going to get out of this? You know, why should I pick this book yep. up? Exactly, it's that bridge, that connection. A lot of reasons people stop and look at the book is because of the cover and then the title. Exactly. <laughs> As well. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, it's very powerful, rich colors, um, beautiful and impactful. Um, so thank you for for sharing a little bit about that, and. As we get ready to go to our next commercial break, is there anything actually before? So that'll be a cliffhanger. So when we come back, he's gonna he's gonna share some additional tips and suggestions and advice with you about bringing their book forward. But what I would love for you to do right now for anyone who hasn't gotten a copy of your book, doesn't know where to go, um, can you share the best way to get a copy of your book, how to find it, and where to leave? Sure. It? Sure. Uh, of course, it's on Amazon now. You can get it at uh, Real Freedom uh, out there on Amazon by the Ingrams. It'll take you right to uh, to our book, uh, the ebook that is. The print mm-hmm. uh, books will be out uh, by the 15th, I think, of next month is what they tell me. And uh, they can go okay. to real-freedom.com and even pre-order the, the, the paperback or the hardcover. Oh, nice. Nice. I, I love that you're doing both soft cover and hard cover. That's great. Do you mind giving that site one more time? Yeah, real-freedom.com. 
Perfect. Real-freedom.com. Perfect. As we get ready to go to our next commercial break, I hope everyone caught that um, and puts that on their list to to get a copy and certainly take a look. And you can now have some of the backstory behind the cover and a little bit of the heartbeat of the family that leaned in to bring this powerful book forward. And we'll continue our conversation in just a moment. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Explore the poetry of Sam Yao. His book of poems, Soul's Journey, is a number one international bestseller. Sam is a contemporary poet with a unique and highly relatable poetic style to convey the essence of spiritual truths for our time. Readers will find beauty, inspiration, and healing in his words. Get his book, Soul's Journey, today on Amazon.com or visit SamYaoPoetry.com. That's SamYaoPoetry.com. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed that moment to pause and maybe look up Donnie's book and take a look at the cover we were just describing, as well as now that you know a little bit of the heartbeat of what brought this book forward, digging in a little deeper and seeing if it calls and pulls to you. And I appreciate that he was letting us know when the print and the soft and hardcover will be available, it looks like mid-August. So if you fall in love with the book and you want to get a hard or soft cover copy, that's the way to, to do it. Um, those are the dates still be available. And then he gave us a link uh, where you can get on the waiting list or um, pre-sign up to, to get a copy. So those are all great. And for those of you who haven't brought a book forward, it's quite common to have the ebook, especially if you're doing best selling campaigns and things, to bring an ebook forward first, share that, get that best selling level, and then release the print book, the soft cover, hard cover later. And then sometimes there will be an audible down the road. So that's a frequent flow. Yes. And there's some strategic reasons why that happens. So we're getting to talk with Donnie early in the in the process during the same month that he released the book and get to watch all of that unfold. So the um, hardcover um, and the softcover will be out mid-August. And those are great things to, to keep an eye out for and watch for. And I was thinking, Donnie, you have brought forward multiple books and yes. have launched and brought this forward with the family and launched it. So I feel like you have a lot of experience in bringing books forward. <laughs> and for some of our listeners that um, maybe it's their first book or they've released one or they're part of another and they're, they're really looking at bringing something forward, do you have some tips and advice on how to do that? Because I think there's this someday – and it's concept and idea, but it's very different to actually bring it forward. Even like this book, you were playing around with the idea for a couple of years, kind of working on it before it was time to bring it forward. So any advice, tips, suggestions on that? Yeah, I, you know, I, I encourage everyone. And, uh, you know, I've, I've talked with several authors and I had some great advice by some great folks in, in my life. Uh, one who actually told me how, you know, that I needed the book. Charlotte and I began to write our, our material uh, 
to sell at the back of the room when we did speaking engagements. That's one of the reasons that we self-published everything is because we already had a market for it. You know, in mm-hmm. our presentations, you know, people would always buy, and we we pretty much every time sold out of everything. Mm. So you know, we we already had it. I wasn't worried too much about getting in bookstores, although a lot of a lot of ours, especially a couple of ours, got into bookstores and and, and uh, you know the mom and pop shops and the gift shops. Uh, so you know, it, it all it, it's all marketing, uh, as mm-hmm. you know. It's like anything else. It's it's marketing. You got to market your 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 product. So you know, if I, w- I would advise people define how you know what your what your uh, market is. Well, you know, mm-hmm. who are you trying to reach, and look at where those people purchase, and and you know. Get your uh, get your material there. I we you know I like self publishing. Uh, I've got some mm-hmm. friends who uh, who that's all they do, and they make an a, an independent living on self publishing because they have the they have researched and has you know, they have a market for for, for their material. Yeah. So that's uh, you know that's kind of what we did because Charlotte and I did so many marriage and family conferences. You know when we printed our when we saw. Uh, uh, wrote our book a success in the home you know that's what we uh, that's what we did you know we we already had a market for it so when we put it out there people began to buy it. Mm. and uh, you know one of one of the books that that, that and you never know what's going to go you know uh we, we were involved with a with a, a women's home and charlotte they were trying to raise money and charlotte said don't you collect quotes you always have can you write a quote book and with all those quotes so I, I did, and you know it kind of took off. That that little quote book for 365 quotes for every day of the year, you know, has uh, has opened more doors for me to go speak than any mm. anything that I've done. Mm. And it's just it's just simple stuff, you know. But if you've got something in you, you know, my advice is to start researching, figure out how you want to do it, how you know what what's your market look like, you know, and 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 start putting it together. Beautiful. And I, and I like that. So as you figure out your market and who would be leaning into the material of the content or whatever you're bringing forward, then build it that way. I think sometimes yep. we, we isolate ourselves in a bubble <laughs> and we create something amazing, but it isn't in a format or a way that the people who need it and are in our market would receive it. And so there's a disconnect. Right. And I like how you're right. you're saying, hey, you know, figure that out. And I love how you you honored that. Yeah, I'll, I'll put those quotes together. <laughs> she, you know, Charlotte saw yeah. that that yeah. bridge, <laughs> that opportunity, <laughs> and that that has been received so powerfully. So I like that looking at um, what your market is and what they're looking for, and that you knew that you were already speaking at a lot of these conferences and the back of the room was a really powerful place. So creating materials and books and things for that um, is is really, really great advice. Anything else you'd add to that? Uh, yeah, I like I like bundling things, uh, like this mm-hmm. this real freedom book. Uh, there's a book, a uh, free book inside that. Now, when the, mm-hmm. when the paperback and the hardcover comes out, there's a link in there that you get a free download of the success in the home book. And you know, mm. that, to me, is, is so important because when people read about Charlotte and me and our kids, they're going to want to know what caused that. Well, that success in the home book, you know, it talks about the guidelines. It talks about the behaviors it takes as a parent, as, as a husband, as a wife, as a, as a kid, as a provider, as a protector. You know, and we hit on three things in there. That I, in my career, in our 44 years of, of talking to people about marriage, there's three things that people have problems with. It's either communication, sex, or money, <laughs> mm-hmm. and we, and we cover all that in there because we want people to understand. You know, too many people are living below the means today because they don't know what to do with their money. They don't know how it, money is just a vehicle. You know, make that vehicle work for you. And uh, yep. you know, when when it comes to you know, sex and money, communication is the power. You've got to communicate mm-hmm. what your what your desires, what your expectations are. So, you know, that's one of the things that I like uh, in bringing my book forward is to, uh, you know, offer more than just that book. Give something else in there that's going to add to that book. Beautiful. And and very generous and very empowering for those that are leaning in and, and wanting more. And you're right, those are three areas that people really struggle in and are looking for support. So I love that you have included that. Well, it has just been a pleasure to, to talk with you today and to have you on our show. And I'd love for you to share what is the best way for people to connect with you. And then I'd also love for you to share the link one more time for anyone who missed it before. Okay. 
My personal website is DonnieIngram.com. Uh, my phone number is on there. My email is on there. Donnie at DonnieIngram.com will you know come straight to me. Uh, you know, I would love to folks to to contact me. There's a there's a form on there to tell me what you think about uh, the book or the training or whatever. You know, I, in that website there, I'd like to hear from people who have read the book because uh, the feedback I've gotten so far has been phenomenal, Rebecca. I mean, phenomenal. Mm. Things happened in our life that I never knew that w- w- happened. Uh, for instance, a young lady from California, uh, she, call- she called and sent a big, long letter that w- had it not been for Charlotte, she wouldn't be here today because in high school mm-hmm. she was going to commit suicide because of her um. home life. And Charlotte got a hold of her, talked her out of that. She said, today I have had a beautiful life. I have, I have enjoyed every day. I have a great career. And it would not have happened had it not been for Miss Charlotte. Those mm-hmm. are the kind of things I like to hear. Cause so when people read these things, I want to hear from them, you know, mm-hmm. so they can, they can, they can touch me by Donnie at Donnie Ingram dot com. Uh, you, you can get my phone number, my, my email there. Also, uh, you know, for the book, uh, real dash freedom dot com. Uh, that, that'll take you to the website for the book. And you can, uh, like I say, uh, sometime this week, you'll be able to uh, pre-order the, uh, either the paperback or the hardcover. And as you mentioned, you know, in September, we're looking at uh, the audio book. Oh, so you know, we're 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 just excited. We're our goal is to touch as many people's lives as possible. Mm, beautiful, thank you for sharing. I I so appreciate that, and um, congratulations on the powerful success of your book. And it's just continuing to ripple out and continuing to touch people's hearts and lives. I love that you're bringing it forward in so many formats, so it can reach as as many people as possible and again just thank you for uh, making time to to share with us today i really appreciate it thank you absolutely and listeners thank you for tuning in i hope that your heart and spirit has been touched today that you've gotten some great insights and things to think about things to take action on to help bring your message forward bring your book forward because if you feel that prompting you feel that pull it's because your voice your message your words your content is needed so i encourage you to lean in find the next step the next couple steps and start taking them so that you can have the impact you were called to have and touch the lives you were called to touch Have an amazing week, and we'll look forward to talking to you next time. Thank you for tuning in to The Author's Journey. Please join Rebecca Hall Greider for another edition of The Author's Journey podcast every Monday on the Voice America Variety Channel. And until we talk again, use some of the tips and inspiration from today's show to guide you as you lean in to bringing your message forward. 